Hello everybody, my name's Tom, one of the other hosts of the Drop Podcast. And today we're playing Over Under, which Zach is going to give me some topics, and I'm going to tell you whether I think they're overrated or underrated and why. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't take offence. Ooh. So, you know, like, I'm a score audio or just fucking UK billboard charts. I think that it's a weird one because I'd say they're about, I'd say they're about on par with with the hype because I must score are clearly amazing. They've got live orchestras playing for Katanga Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'd, I'd say they're about right because because they are good at what they do. Um, some are better than others, but that's that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. <laughs> Theme park clothing, for the most part, is trash. It's so bad. Like I, I, don't, I don't know this the hype behind the Smiler hoodies because it's probably one of the most ugly hoodies I've ever seen in my life. Like, who decided to make a piece of clothing with yellow and black on it? I, I just don't get it. That's not me being biased or pretentious. I just think they're awful. I'm yet to see one piece of theme park clothing that's not a Disney that I think I'd buy that. There is very, very little. Apart from that vintage Nemesis t-shirt Archie's got, that's pretty fire. But I'm literally not seeing anything. <laughs> Overrated as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Ugly ass clothes. It's pizza pasta. I'm gonna tell you my whole synopsis about pizza pasta. I, I challenge you to find me a better deal for a meal at Alton Towers. That with Merlin annual pass, it's eleven twenty-five something like that for all you can eat food and drink. That's crazy. That's that's cheaper than you get anywhere in town, and it's peng food as well. Fair enough, it's a bit same with it being pizza pasta, but it's peng food. So I'd say pizza pasta is underrated and it's pretty well hyped. So I'm gonna say underrated for pizza pasta because it is peng pizza peng pasta. That's what it should be called. Um, I'd say it's about right hyped. It's, it, for a kids' coaster, it's good. Like joking aside, it's it's a cool little coaster. It's got nice theming. It's got some cool effects. It's 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 just it's all right, I guess. Yeah, about I'd say it's about rated as it should be, as hyped as it should be. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. What about the fact you saw and? Um Dan Cox, oh yeah, shout out Dan Cox. We saw him when we last rode up to Knox. It was a new cred for me. It was the first coaster me and Zach have ridden, to, ridden, ridden together. So, big moment in my coaster career. <laughs> <laughs> That's just underrated, man. Without, without that, I think that there won't be as many Planet Coaster YouTubers. I think that some roller coaster manufacturers need to find that tool. Maybe you should start designing it on Planet Coaster. I don't know. I've not mentioned any names apart from the coma, but, but yeah, I'd say the smoothing tool on Planet Coaster <laughs> is underrated. Shout out to Planet Coaster, man. <laughs> Overrated. I'd say by quite a bit because people seem to think the way I see theme park scare attractions or, or scare seasons is checkbook scares like they've got so much money to throw at them like Thought Park and Towers they've got so much money to throw at these events and they do and a lot of the time it's with very little creativity <laughs> because as, as we like Owen Towers isn't what it used to be it's not it's gone downhill since like 2015 and I think everyone knows that um, and it and we've never picked up I've never been to Thought Park, I'm going to try and go this year, but from what I hear it's very up and down, and even when it's really good, I think there's better attractions out there that are independent, and so and some of the cheaper mazes in the world you find are the better ones, because you think, oh they've actually had to stop and think about making the most with the money, like Burton's a good example, like fair enough they have got a couple of terrible attractions there, but some of them are so sick, like Love Hurts is sick and you can tell that it's a cheaper attraction. So I'm going to say overrated as fuck. Underrated. 
I don't. Why do we need to even answer that? Underrated. They are the. I think they're just getting into their stride. Like people are going to say unbiased, but I think unbiased. I've done a fair few screen parks, and I'd say Extreme Scream is by far one of the best, if not the best, for like the whole package. Like Tully's has got the best atmosphere. There's no denying that. It's incredible. Extremes mazes are just so much better in every way, I'd say. But I'd say as a package, Extreme Scream is the best screen park in the UK that I've done. So I'm going to say underrated because it's not a massive event yet. Let's get in there. <laughs> I just mentioned it. Um, I'm going to say overrated quite a lot. I think it gets a lot of press because it's the most well known, but it doesn't mean it's the best. We went last year on one of their busiest nights because <clears throat> it was the last night with fireworks and stuff. And I was massively disappointed. The event as a whole was sick, like like the atmosphere and the amount of street actors and stuff like that was sick, but the mazes were dead. Like. There were some good mazes, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to piss on them, but the bad mazes were so bad that you wouldn't even notice them. Like, I, I've been trying to name every maze there, and I couldn't, because you just forget about them. The colony, we saw four actors, and that's a big maze. That's a long maze. Hayride was sick there. The clown maze was the best clown maze I've ever done by far. It was incredible. Chop Shop was just a gimmick. With chainsaws, if you're not scared of chainsaws, you're just gonna be noisy and fucking stink. Um, the hooded maze, I don't see the point in having a hooded maze when you can't touch people. It's like there's nothing intimidating about it. Um, and they spend so much on fire effects that you can see through the hood and stuff like that, and it's like you don't really need it. So I'm gonna to say Tully Shoptoberfest is overrated quite a lot as well. <laughs> Giovanola, they're in, well, I don't really know that much about them. I know they were kind of an in-between company between people that used to work at Intamin and BNM. That's right. They made Shockwave, and they also made Eurostar, which is this mental four four seat four seat across inverted travelling roller coaster that's in Russia at the minute. That's just monstrous. And that was built by about ten different people. Um, but I'd say I'd say they're probably underrated. They did make some good coasters, but they did make some. You could see the transition from Intim into uh, BNM because Shockwave's rough as fuck, and we all know that BNMs aren't rough as fuck. So I'd say they're probably underrated because they did make some good coasters. And they weren't very long lived at all, and I think they're only going for about 10 years or so, if that. So, yeah, Giovanola, underrated. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get into trouble for this, I think. Right. <laughs> this is going to turn into a long video. So, in a nutshell, I think the theme park community is underrated. People complain that there is a lot of toxic people in the theme park community, which I'm sure there is. However, it's all who you surround yourself with. I've been in this game for like 12 years and I've seen so many twats of people and all that sort of thing. And I've learned that it's all who you surround yourself with. If you want to associate with people that are being snaky or whatever, then feel free and then you're going to feel it. If you don't, if you surround yourself with nice people, keep your circle nice and tight, then you'll be fine. You'll meet some new people. I've met Archie, Zach, Jake all through theme parks so yeah you can meet some good friends but you know it's, it's all it's all down to your your preference if you want to surround yourself with toxic people you're going to get toxic behavior simple as that <laughs> it is though isn't it like it's what it is, to be fair. It's... You just people are so scared to be disliked in the community as well you know don't be afraid to be disliked because you're not going to get on everyone and that's another thing people expect because we're into the same thing everyone's going to get along but it's not like that you know, obviously we try to be as nice to everyone as we can, but some people you just can't get along with, which is fine because it's just life. So I'm going to say it's underrated because people slagging it a lot, but I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people say it is on Twitter. Don't listen to people on fucking Twitter, only us. 
Everything gets yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid, <laughs> and it is like one big playground. Sometimes there's a lot of drama, but it is what it is. I, I, and a lot of times people get their heads lost and they don't realise that it is just a hobby at the end of the day. And there's a lot of drama and hate, and it's just like, well, why? So yeah, that's my rant over. <laughs>